in this triangle, I see I just have side, side, side. So I can't use the law of sines because I don't have an angle side opposite at pair. So I'm going to use the law of cosines and I'm just going to find angle A because in this problem that's all it asked for. So I'm going to start by doing the side opposite A. That's going to be 125 squared. Actually, maybe I'll start by reminding us what the law of cosines looks like. So it's one of the side squares equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides minus two times the product of those two sides times the cosine of the angle between those two sides. And so that's what I'm applying here. And so one of the sides, 125 squared, equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that's 115 squared plus 100 squared minus 2 times the product of those two sides and then multiplied by the cosine of the angle between those two sides and we'll call that A just because in our picture that's what they labeled it. Okay, so what I need to do is solve this for cosine A and then I'm going to grab my calculator and do the inverse of that. So just some algebra, cosine A is going to be 125 squared minus 115 squared minus 100 squared and then that's going to be divided by negative 2 times 115 times 100. Now be careful when you put this in your calculator remember that if you're going to put it all in at once to get some parentheses to tell your calculator what the numerator is and what the denominator is. So now I'm going to grab my calculator and I'm going to do inverse cosine of that expression and it looks like for angle A I'm going to get 70.7 degrees.